Hi there, welcome to the Rob J. Star Show. My name is Rob J. Star, and each time we come and visit you in your living room, I hope to be able to bring you interesting guests, people who are success oriented people who have a zest for life and who really want to make a difference in the lives of as many people as possible. And today's show is absolutely no different. But right now, what I'd like to do is introduce a very, very good friend of mine and golf buddy, Jeff Garrow. Welcome to the show. It's good to Thank see you. Thank you so much. And Jeff, uh, Jeff is an accomplished stress management expert and consultant. He's an executive coach, a trainer, workshop leader, and a professional speaker. I'm also a professional speaker, so I know what that's about. And his gifts are identifying and working with organizations to find solutions for internal problems, problems that are people having, their, they're having trouble in the work site. And uh, Jeff enjoys training and coaching professionals and creates more, to create a more professional and productive and meaningful attitude in the workplace. And for the past 25 years, mm -hmm. uh, you've worked with corporations, professional associations, nonprofit groups, and government agencies. So tell me exactly about stress. I know everyone is suffering one way or another <laughs> about stress, and it really does take a... a it takes its toll on people. So tell us what you know about stress. Well, we're living in a very interesting time. We, we get places very fast. We have fax machines. We have beepers. We have cell phones. Things are moving very fast. Yeah. If you lived in the 1600s, uh, you wouldn't get as much information in your whole life as you get from one day of reading the New York Times. That's how things are. So we're taking in a lot. Uh, more demands made upon us. Uh, we're downsizing, so the employees that are staying at the company there have to take over more jobs, more stress. But the companies, or a lot of them, unfortunately, aren't training uh, people how to deal with that stress of taking on more responsibility and having less time for your, for your leisure and yourself and your family and that type of thing. So my job is to go in and try and help people adjust to these type of things. What is so special about the organization that you've set up Success over stress. What separates you from others in the field? Well, uh, one of the things is I'm more or less a pioneer, having started in 1974, of recognizing the need in uh, of training people in stress management, and I built a program that has follow-up and support systems, which is what's important. Because I'd go into a company, let's say like Disney or Sheridan or General Motors, and I'd give a program, and the program would say, they'd say, well, that was great, but what happens to people afterwards? They just more or less would go back to the same old way, generally, most would, without the support and the follow-up. So what we're doing now is a lot more coaching, finding out what people need, where they need their support, and really trying to change the corporate culture to say that, yes, taking some deep breaths, going into a room where the employees can relax, perhaps meditate, listen to an audio tape, a videotape, and reduce their stress. See, what we're fighting here is that if you relax, people used to think you're lazy. But I'm saying just the opposite. It's almost like if we're sitting in a room in Italy in the uh, year 1491, and we're saying we're in a little pub and we're discussing going out into the ocean, you say, watch out, you're going to fall off there. Well, that whole thing changed. We know it's not true. And I'm saying to you, the same thing's true, that if you do relax, you're going to be more productive, more effective, have a better quality of life. And that's a hard thing to do, is make those changes. That's what's happening. I've been aware of stress uh, <clears throat> on a professional level for a long time. And I even looked into it. And I saw, I couldn't believe how many sick days, how many people are out sick, and the incredible cost mm -hmm. that really takes its, it takes its toll on companies and corporations. Not only do they lose a, 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 sick, a person who's overstressed and sick, but then they have to hire someone else who doesn't know that person's job temporarily. So the cost of having people 